All right, we're actually going to be making a wiffle ball puzzle feeder today. Um, this is really neat for the chimps. It makes them work for a little bit, um, which kind of encourages their natural foraging um, behavior. So what they do is we'll actually hold it, hang this on the outside of the mesh, and we'll put like treats inside of their um, wiffle balls, and they'll have to spin them around. And then the seeds and things will come out into here, so they'll just scoop them out. Um, so that is what we're making today. We're gonna start with a two foot long piece of PVC and it is a uh, three inch diameter, which means the three inch inside of it, um, which will hold the wiffle balls. So I've already pre-cut the two um, foot PVC piece. Um, Jane's gonna give me a hand. We are gonna start off by drilling the holes for the um, eye bolts for the hanging. So the first thing we're gonna do is drill the holes for the eye bolts. Um, the holes for eye bolts um, go from the top to the bottom, and then we're going to be cutting an oval in the front um, for them to be able to get the things out of the wiffle ball. So we're going to go ahead and drill the holes in that. but it does make a mark on the inside. Can you hand me that pin right there? So what I'll do with that is I will feel where the mark is, and then I will mark up here approximately where it is. So that I can cut it on that side. All right, Jane's going to hold it down again for me. Right, this um, is a Dremel tool. We're gonna actually use it for a good amount of this. Um, we don't want the sharp edges of the PVC to cut the chips. So we do use a Dremel tool just to kind of get the rough edges off so that they don't have any sharp edges. Alright, so we have changed our bit from a regular bit that we use to drill the hole for the um, eye bolts to a hole saw. Um, we're going to use this to do the ends so that we have our beginning of our oval. Now we're going to draw a line from one hole to the other so that we can use a sawzall to cut um, the long part of the oval. It is easier to use a straight edge for this, but um, at this point, we just have a measuring tape. All right. Now the fun part. All right, so before we uh, use a Sawzall, um, you need to make sure that you're wearing safety glasses um, and also the person that is holding it for you um, knows where to hold their hands um, to be safe. You need to make sure that um, you're watching where your tools are going at all times. So Jane's gonna hold it with her fingers tucked under and her hands away from where I'm going to actually be cutting. All right, Jane, I'm gonna start on this side. Okay. Now that I'm halfway down the line, I'm gonna flip it over um, because once you get towards the bottom, the PVC pipe does shake quite a bit. So it makes it more difficult for the person that is holding it. So Jane's gonna hold that again. I'm gonna be cutting this side. So the next thing is to get rid of the rough edges. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Um, it just needs to be a hole for the wiffle ball. And so our next step will be to put the eye bolts through. Tighten that up. 
And then we get to put the wiffle balls in. So you just load them on this end. Put the eye bolt on the other side. Put it relatively tight um, so that it stays on. I just tighten it up.